Hello students. So um, in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about something which I have seen very often, which is um, let's say some student is you know preparing for you're preparing for some exam or you are just studying something. And, and what do students do typically? They will uh, let's say the exam is coming or they are you know revising. So they will read something uh, like read it once and maybe they will underline something or you know uh, highlight uh, or use a highlighter or whatever and they will read it once and then they will do a second revision read the whole thing again then third revision fourth revision right now these these revisions you know what are you doing really you are kind of reading the same material again it's like reading a reading a novel right and uh, and unfortunately this is what a lot of students do multiple revisions and yet this is a really bad way to study or even to revise right so the question is you know why is it bad and second is if this is bad what is the better way what is the smart way to do that right so so the the reason it is bad is essentially if you read this read something what is happening your brain is not active it is kind of passively you're trying to just you know read and uh, and absorb and and we are not very good at passive absorption right so i'll, I'll just give an example let us say uh, to totally you know, moving away from it. let's say if you uh, if you're if I ask you a question okay how is a rainbow formed right why do we see uh, how do we see those colors and then I explain to you right how it is formed let's say I, I make you think for one minute then I say okay fine this is how rainbow is formed you will learn it much better than if I just say okay today I'm going to talk about how rainbow is formed and if I start explaining because you don't have the curiosity your mind is not trying to actively absorb right so, so the right way to study is not reading it over and over again. The right way to do that is, so you read something, right? Now stop, right? And then you try to recall, recall whatever you just, just read, you try to recall. How do you recall? So you imagine that, you know, you are teaching it to somebody. So this is, this technique is, again, it's a very well-known technique. It has got various names. So they call it active recall. You might have heard of uh, Feynman technique. They all they are talking about similar it's a similar idea which is that you reproduce the you re, you pretend that you are teaching it to somebody and reproduce the concept you not reproduce you explain the concept right and explain it in your own words the way you think a student would understand and when you explain not just okay it's not like um okay so newton's third law um action reaction equal no explain just think of it like it's a real class explain full sentences right so as an example okay in this example that we just took the attraction between the earth and this earth and this object was whatever so you have to speak full sentences explain the whole thing and and you should be able to do that without having to look at your notes again right and if you have to which means that part is not clear so again you read it and then again try this right now this this reproducing this explaining the whole thing all over again in your own words as if as if you were teaching to a student right will will make sure that your understanding is really firmed up it becomes really strong and it will stay that way and trust me on this one it'll take some time for sure it'll take a little bit more time than just like reading and, and walking away but it will save you the three or two or three revisions in after that because in just one revision or just one study cycle you are going to increase the effectiveness to a very very different level right so remember every single time you study something stop pretend that you are teaching a class and now teach the class now go through the whole thing literally sentence by sentence don't have to just not just key point explain the whole thing as if you're teaching and without looking at your notes and then you will get stuck at various points so this part oh i never thought about it then refer to it again do that right when you're comfortable you explain everything your concept is now solid so this is so much better than reading this stuff again and again and taking notes right and this is one of the big secrets of effective studies not just for students in school for any level school college after college wherever right so i hope you find this useful and and uh, and if you find this useful do share your thoughts with me i would love to hear from you thank you